for more on where the TV business goes from here. I'm joined by Bloomberg News reporter Cliff Edwards, who's been covering Sony for a decade. Also in New York is Porter Bibb of MediaTek Capital Partners, a guest often with us here on Bloomberg Television. Porter. Yes, ma'am. Is, <laughs> is the TV going to become a thing of the past? Have TV yeah. sales peaked? I, I think uh, TV sets per se have been commoditized for the last several years. And even though John uh, mentioned a few minutes ago somebody like uh, Sharp uh, and Samsung doing well, they are not doing well in TV. The margins have gone to hell and back. And TV is on a light, really on life support right now because it, it was not only the elements that, that changed the, the environment that he mentioned, but also streaming. It, digital streaming has really put sounded the death knell for television. TVs on life support, Cliff. Why would Kazuo Harai take it upon himself to say, well, I'm going to turn it around? Well, what they're really looking for is a new technology. They, yeah. they made some, That's basically right. the wrong bets in the past few years. They were betting on 3D to sort of revive the market, to get people to upgrade televisions, and it did not happen. So what they're doing is they're looking for new technologies like OLED, like new screen technologies and internet televisions to really pick up things for themselves. I, Porter, I, does Kazuo yeah. Hirai have what it takes? I mean, what can he possibly do differently that hasn't well, been tried already? I, I, I think Mr. Hirai is the only man who has a shot at Sony right now. Howard Stringer tried and couldn't, couldn't change the culture. Uh, what Hirai, Hirai has done is make the, the PlayStation and the games business the real breadwinner for Sony. But, but what we're, we're seeing right now is a, a tectonic shift from Sony's being a hardware company to a software company. All of their hardware products are really not market leaders anymore. They used to be the cutting edge in terms of hardware electronic quality. When, when they lost the lead to Apple in the, in the Walkman iPod innovation, they, they basically gave up. I mean, they, two years ago, they launched Sony TV with Google as a partner, and it just died on the vine. Their software right now, the games that they, they sell for PlayStation, their movies, their television, and, and other software products are going to be the core business 10 years from now that Sony offers the world. Right. Cliff, this Apple TV is sort of looming. It hasn't even been announced yet. Do you think that is impacting sales no, at all? No, I really don't. I, I think John made it made the point quite clear is that mobile devices is, are really what are cannibalizing the business right now. People are really spending the money that they have on iPads, on tablets, on smartphones. And you're seeing that even in results like Best Buy today, which showed you know, that they're losing uh, a lot of margin because people are buying Apple products. But Porter, you, yeah, what do you think about, Porter, what do you think about the promise of this Apple TV set? Is it going to be a legitimate competitor and potentially unseat the companies that are doing well, like Samsung <laughs> and LG? Well, one, one of the elements of Apple TV is that it keeps being put off as a launch. And probably that's because they have figured out uh, at, at Apple that there's not a great future. The TV set as we know it is going to last for maybe another five or six years, but they will start putting internet chips and other software to make TV sets internet accessible. But you don't need that. All you need is a really good flat screen and your, your mobile device, whether it's an iPad or a smartphone or any, any other portable device that can get streaming video off the internet and wirelessly transport it to the big screen. The, the TV business is going to shrink into a panel and display business. You don't need television sets anymore. Cliff, do you agree? Uh, to a certain extent. I mean, I think what happens is that you have two, three, four sets in the home now. And with, the, with mobile devices, you're going to basically, people are going to be focusing on having that one. You do want to have, when you're around with your family, your friends, watching the Super Bowl, the Oscars, a very large screen. But you're not going to want three or four in your home in five or six years. Well, we will continue to watch um, Cliff Edwards of Bloomberg News, Porter Bibb of MediaTek Capital Partners. Thanks to both of you.